if you look at footballers and celebrities generally, a lot of the tattoos they have done are that kind of sort of name down the forearm, kind of, you know, Sanskrit, Arabic, kanji, symbolic languages and that kind of stuff. So I think they're probably the biggest sort of trend. Is that, is that a tattoo? Yeah, it says breathe. That's awesome. I'm a big fan of tattoos and I had a big input with uh, the design of the, the cross on the back. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of, uh, uh, of my taste and my own... Uh, my own liking. It's like there's a, a, a real tense build up to it and then there's a little bit of suffering and then there's that sort of like the elation of what you've done and what you've achieved by having suffered that. So it's kind of like a rite of passage and I suppose it is quite addictive. When I got my first tattoo I swore that would be the last one but I pretty much got four, four others in the year after that but now I have seven tattoos and I think I'm done now because I'm, I'm getting bored of them. <laughs> I don't think removal ever works completely because your skin's damaged. You can always see that there's been a tattoo there. And I think especially if you're the person that's had the tattoo, because you know it's been there, you'll always kind of, in your head, still see something there.